Hello, my virtual first grade artists. This week, my friends, we started a new art project together. In this art project, you can see that there's a bear dressed up in a shirt. Oh my gosh, what is going on, my friends? Well, we're gonna be creating some imaginary art using crayon resist, my friends. So let's go take a look at what art materials besides crayons we will need to help make some plaid patterned paper today. So before we get out any paper from our folder, I just wanted to show you a couple examples of what your paper might look like today, my friends. Here are two different versions of plaid. Plaid is a type of fabric that has a pattern where the fabric is one color, for instance, green here, black there, and then different colors are either woven or sewn into it, such as red, orange, yellow, purple, even blues. So today, we're gonna be using our crayons and our paint, as well as one white piece of paper to help make some plaid for our teddy bears next art class. So I'll go ahead. First thing I need to do is pick out either three or four crayon colors today, my friends. And again, I can pick any three or four colors I would like. So I think I'll pick pink, orange, red, and maybe I'll even pick my friend yellow. As always, you should and can pick different colors if you want to, my friends. Now again, plaid is created by adding either straight lines up and down or straight lines side to side. So maybe I'll start with one of my colors, red for instance, and I'll just draw some thin straight lines across my paper. Now while I'm drawing today, my friends, it's important that I push hard with my crayon. As I go down my paper, I'll keep adding that nice thin red line. Again, you can be using a different color. And again, I'm pushing nice and hard so I get a nice dark color. Now my next color, maybe I'll switch to pink and maybe this time I'll go up and down. However, besides thin lines, I can also sometimes see thick lines in plaid as well. The best way to make a thick line is not to just draw one line, but to actually kind of color back and forth as you go down your paper, my friends. As I'm coloring, my line is getting thicker. Again, I'm still pushing pretty hard to help make sure that there's lots of color on my paper. Sometimes it helps me if I even turn my paper sideways to help make my coloring a little bit more even. But whatever works for you, my friends. Sometimes I can even do my colors in patterns. For instance, maybe using my orange and yellow, I might switch between them. So maybe I might do a thin yellow line and then I'll do a thin orange line. And I can repeat that paper or that pattern, excuse me, down my paper as well to add a few more colors and a few more lines to my plaid. Again, I'm still pushing nice and hard get a nice dark color on my paper. All right, I almost like my paper. I think I might just add a little bit more red lines. Again, I'm just gonna do a nice thin line going in between my pink thick lines just to add a little bit more. So here's the start of my plaid paper, friends. Again, I've only drawn 
straight lines that go up and down or side to side. And I have both thin and thick lines in my plaid picture. If you need some more time, please pause the video here. Otherwise, it's time to open up our paint set, my friends. Now again, the thing about plaid is they pick one color of fabric to start with, and then they weave other colors through it. So today, my friends, you also need to pick only one color in your paint set, but it cannot be a color that you've already used. For instance, I cannot use red, orange, yellow, or pink because I already have those on my paper. Instead though, I could use colors like green, blue, purple, even black or brown if I wanted today. As a matter of fact, I think today I will pick black for mine. Now many friends think that I should just paint around my colors, but the great thing about crayons is they like to push away the paint as you paint over them. So today, my friends, when you are painting with your one color, you don't have to stay inside of your lines because again, your crayons will push the water and the paint away. If it does cover over some of your colors, please try using more water. For instance, oops, I don't see some of my lines, so I'll grab some more water, put my water right on top and spread my paint out a little bit thinner. And that will help some of my lines pop back through. It's okay if some of your lines disappear though, my friends. Now, as you noticed on my two examples here, the top is not painted because you don't have to paint your entire picture, my friends. I would say about three fourths of it, one, two, three, does need to be completely painted all the way to the edges, my friends. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna speed up this part of the video as I'm painting with my one color to fill in my background on my plaid. And then I'll show you what my paper looks like when I'm all done painting today, friends. So here's how my paper looks when I'm all finished. Now, there is one other trick, my friends, as well. If you do get too much paint in an area, let's say I get a little bit too much black on some of my crayon, another way I can get rid of some of that paint is by using a tissue or a paper towel and just blotting it away. So I hope that helps any friends that maybe are looking at some of their colors and feeling a little sad that some of them disappear. Just put a little water on it and blot it away. Now, this paper is going to have to dry, my friends. And then next week, we will help dress a bear with it. For this week though, there is no homework in Seesaw. So I'll say my BYE for now, friends. And as always, have fun creating.